Hey guys, this is Rook Wizard 59 and today I'm coming at you with another LEGO Star Wars review. Today, we're doing set number 7655, The Clone Troopers Battle Pack. It's ages 6 to 12 and contains 58 pieces. It has 4 minifigures and 2 vehicles. And when it came out in 2007, it retailed for $9.99 or $10 US dollars. So without further ado, Let's get in to the set. So the first minifigure we get in this set is the episode 3 version of the clone trooper. So you can see he has some nice torso printing. And he does have back printing. And he does include a blaster and some binoculars. And here is his helmet. see some nice detailing on the sides and he does have a black head the second minifigure we get in this set is another one of the episode 3 clone troopers and as you can see he is exactly the same as the first one third minifigure we get in this set is the Star Corps Trooper. So he is exactly the same as the first two troopers. Except you can see he does have some bright orange lines painted down his armor. And you can see he does have some pauldron detailing around his neck. Same with the back. He comes with, and he does come with a blaster. Here is his helmet. Similar to the first two clones. The final minifigure we get in this set is the Shock Trooper. So he does have a lot of red printing all around. As you can see starting off here on the torso he does have some a lot on his armor and his belt and then on his helmet he has a lot of red lines and markings and same with the back. Here is his helmet and he also has a black head. So those are all the minifigures you get in this set. Now, let's get on to the vehicles. So here is the Clone Trooper Battle Pack set. And it does have two parts. So first off, we will start off with the turret. So here is the turret. You can see it's a very simple, small design. Here you can see it does have some nice red markings. And here there's a nice rounded beam. And it is actually made out of a wheel top. So pretty nice little design. Anyways, and it, here on top it does have a place where you can put your blaster. And you can take your trooper and put him there. That's how he'd look on the turn. So next off, we have the speeder bike. So here it is. See a nice spin around. And in front here, we do have a engine piece, which is usually used in cars. You can see here. This is the piece, usually found in a lot of LEGO racer sets. And as we move up, we do have two rods connecting the front to the main portion and we have more of that red piece and here we do have two blasters see here as we move up we have the handlebars and here is where two clones can sit so you can take your clones here
they sit like so. And then here in the back, we do have another plaster that the back clone can use. So that is your speeder bike. So here is the instruction manual to the set. You can see it has that nice box art with the Darth Vader. And it just shows the scene in the set. You can open it up here and this shows how to build the character. And just turn it around. You can see the steps to build both parts. And here in the back it does tell piece by color, unlike the older sets. If we turn the page, we do have a nice little battle scene. It shows all of the clone troopers on one side and the battle droids on the other. We flip another page. We do have all the other sets that were released in that year. Some of the bigger sets here. And then just an advertisement page, but all like the Lego magazine. And then here on the back again, we do have the other set. So that is your menu. And here is the box. So here on the left, it does include all of the information, like age, number, and pieces contained. And it is the exact same as the manual in terms of the art. And then here is the actual set. Here is the side. And this is the other side does tell the nice 30th anniversary of Star Wars. It says Star Wars in the back. Then here in the back we have a picture of all the clone troopers and once again the other sets that were released in that year. So that is the box. So that completes the review of set number 7655 the clone troopers battle pack. So I'll know it's a great set I mean, you get some four amazing minifigures, some of which are rare and exclusive. Plus, you get a nice little speeder bike and a small turret, which are great for battle scenes if, or stop motion animations. Plus, this is one of the army building sets. You can buy multiple of these to build up your clone army. So that's another pro to this set. And if you're looking to buy this set, I mean, you can get anywhere from 30 to $40 nowadays in terms of in a box and or sealed. If you want to buy a used version that does not come with the box, that will be about 20 to $30. So that is uh, still $10 over the original price. But with these type of minifigures, it does sometimes get a little expensive. And in terms of sites, you should go to BrickLink or eBay. You can find some really good deals on those sites. And with that, we will complete the review of set number 7655, The Clone Troopers Battle Pack. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. I'm BrickWizard59, and stay tuned for more LEGO Star Wars reviews.